T cell or T lymphocytes. T represents the term thymus, and we know that T cells are thymus derived. T cell precursors originate in the bone marrow and they migrate to the thymus, to complete their maturation and become T lymphocytes. These mature lymphocytes then migrate to bloodstream and lymphoid tissue where they circulate. We also studied that when these T cells encounter antigens, they recognize those antigens by T cell receptors, which further activate the adaptive immune response. In this video lecture, we will study about T cell receptors and CD3, which is a signaling protein associated with T cell receptor. T cell receptors abbreviated as TCRs are molecules on the surface of T cells. These are membrane-spanning proteins. It is this TCR which interacts with antigens presented by MHC molecules on the surface of antigen-presenting cells or target cells. Each T cell has thousands of copies of the same TCR on its surface. An individual T cell generally carries between 10,000 and 30,000 identical copies of a single TCR. There are two types of cell receptors and both are heterodimers. First one is TCR alpha beta and second one is TCR gamma delta. 95% of the T cells circulating in the body have TCR alpha beta and 5% have TCR gamma delta. T cell either express alpha beta receptor or gamma delta receptor, but never both. Let's have a look on the structure of TCR alpha beta. TCR alpha beta is composed of two polypeptides, an alpha chain which has a molecular weight of 49 kilodaltons and a beta chain which has a molecular weight of 43 kilodaltons. Each chain has two extracellular domains, a transmembrane portion and a cytoplasmic tail. The outermost domain is known as variable domain and represented by capital V. Other domain is known as constant domain and it is represented by capital C. Each of the domain is stabilized by an internal disulfide bond. The variable domains of both alpha and beta chain together form the antigen binding site. After T cell receptors recognize the antigen presented by an MHC molecule, a signal is transmitted from the surface of T cell, to the nucleus which leads to T cell activation. But T cell receptor cannot do this alone because, the cytoplasmic tail of the T cell receptor is extremely short. It is about 3 amino acid long. So, how this signaling takes place. For this, T cell receptors are associated non-covalently with a complex of proteins. This complex is made up of four different proteins namely gamma, delta, epsilon, and zeta. Two heterodimers formed by these proteins are known as CD3. First heterodimer is formed by delta and epsilon protein and second one is formed by gamma and epsilon protein. Besides CD3, two zeta chains, linked together by a disulfide bond forms the remaining part of this protein complex. So, here you can see the whole TCR complex on the cell surface of a T cell. The CD3 proteins and the zeta chain are identical in all T cells. It is important to note that the whole complex of proteins, that is, alpha beta of T cell receptor and gamma, delta, epsilon, and zeta is transported to the cell surface as a unit. Experiments have shown that if any one of these proteins is not made, TCR is not expressed on the cell surface. So, 
In this video lecture we saw that, T cell receptor is actually a complex of proteins. The alpha and beta proteins of this complex do the job of recognition of the antigen. They cannot signal. For signaling job, gamma, delta epsilon, and zeta proteins are there. They initiate intracellular signaling pathway after antigen recognition by T-cell receptors.